Good morning, last day in London, day three. We just checked out of the hotel, we left the luggage there. We're gonna go into the train station and we are going to the British Library and then to the Victoria and Albert's Museum. So, and then in between we're gonna make, we're gonna fit lunch in there. So, I woke up this morning, there's a lot of noise. I woke up this morning and I went for a run and it was awesome. It was, there were a lot of people running, so it was, it was, it was good. We are trying to find the British Library right now. So this is the British Library. It's really new. I was picturing something much older. This is it. Super, super modern. Like very contemporary. <laughs> Very, very interesting. It's a shame I couldn't tape inside, but they even have the lights very low, so it won't ruin the box. They have Bibles, they have Qurans, they have um, Shakespeare's like handwritten notes. They have um, a lot of like um, Coleridge and a lot of British writers and poets, and they have Leonardo da Vinci. It's really nice. And then they have the original Magna Carta from the 13th century. It's pretty impressive. It's a nice collection. So if you're into books, this is a must do in London, in my opinion. This is St. Pancras. This is a hotel. It's pretty nice. And that's King's Cross. We're gonna see if we find Harry Potter. <laughs> Okay, so we took the subway and now we are at the, we're trying to find the Victoria and Albert Museum. We're gonna hit that first and then if we have time we're gonna go into the Science Museum because Bruno wants to see it. So that's the plan. Let's see if we can cover both. And there's a Lebanese um, restaurant back there. I took a picture of the menu because we may come that back there after we see the museum. Here we are, Victoria and Albert. We're gonna check out China and Japan. But this is, as you enter, they have all this. This is Middle Ages, Medieval and Renaissance, 14 to 17th century. This is China. That is a dish. It's actually kind of like a bento box. You put the food there. And it's divided, I guess, per food group. Pretty neat. This one is an advertisement for secrets from 1920. This is an imperial throne from the Qing dynasty. Very interesting. It's carved lacquer on wood. Very neat. Look at that work right there. See, very. Because I'm, I'm in the reflection. Anyway, it's 
very intricate. That's Buddha, right there. Wow. It's got overkill of gold. Yep. I could be bored of that. I'm like silver. I think they might be like Yeah, but they, they made it in gold because it means you have money. I was just like making it silver. It just looks so much better. Oh, I mean, it's good to have, it looks nice with some gold. Well, this just makes it look like gold. Imagine, imagine painting your car completely gold. I don't have enough money to paint it gold. Yeah. I'm sure it crossed some people's I minds though. I know, I know. But look how ugly it would be. Like, uh, on some You would get your car stolen pretty quickly. Now we're in India. Look at this box. That's number three. It's a writer's box. And this is a chair for, it's actually a golden throne for a Maharaja. Very cool. We're in the 20th century section. And these are radios. Look at those. My friends have one like this one. <laughs> Similar, little smaller. Look at this sofa or couch or whatever it is. This is called a garden egg. It was manufactured in West Germany during the Cold War. It looks like the um, captains, the chair for the captains of the Enterprise. So, this was very interesting. You really don't know. It's not cohesive, so you don't know. It's like anything else that could not fit in any other museum, they just put it here. Because there's a little bit of everything. So it's kind of, I don't know. We watched the, all the Asia stuff they had, and that was pretty interesting. There were a lot of other stuff that was not interesting at all. So, they had this whole section on 20th century artifacts and they had like boom boxes and iPhones and I mean to me that's not interesting could be for some people though so so now we're going to science museum so right now we're inside the science museum and we're gonna check in out what he wants to see check it out the map okay we're going to the fly zone I'm assuming there's airplanes or things that fly in here. We're gonna pick. So we're gonna do a virtual reality um, ride where we it, it it takes 12 minutes. So you go into the international um, station and then they land you on Earth. So supposedly it's pretty cool. So we just get the tickets. Okay, so we did the VR thing. I'm not sure it was worth 11 pounds for each of us, so 33 pounds to know. Um, it was good, but we have a VR machine at home and that give, gives you more the impression of virtual reality. So, so we're leaving the museum right now um, and we're gonna go find something to eat. I don't know that we're gonna be 
um, able to find that Lebanese place because we walked a little further so I'm not sure which street it was. We'll see if we can find it. If not, we'll find something else to eat. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, today is very hot. I mean, hot. If I could wear shorts, I would be wearing shorts. So we ended up finding the Lebanese restaurant. And here's what we're gonna have. Bruno's gonna get the burger, which is made with lamb. And my brother and I are gonna have the chicken and green olives tagine. Looks very yummy. The decor is super, super interesting. Really, really neat. We have a lot of people in the mountain. Okay, we finished eating at the Lebanese restaurant. How was the food? He didn't like his hamburger. He said he was very spicy, <laughs> naturally. But my food was awesome. And we were gonna take the subway. Hi guys, we're at Gatwick Airport. Um, I'm just gonna log off for the day. We have three more hours, three and a little bit till we leave for Madrid. And this is gonna end my vlogs in London. Bye bye, see you soon.